We're here at Tremblant at the West Inn. All right, we are going to swim outside. All right, Kale. Yep. How's the temperature? Perfect. <gasps> All right, so it's been a long day, so I'm gonna take a nap in the snow. Ugh. <sighs> Let's go to sleep. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. It feels like enough. You're going in first. Good morning, and we are going snowboarding today. Wow, you can't even see the top of the mountain. All right, so we're going down the north. We're gonna go down the north side of the mountain. Oh, that's cold. The wind is so strong, it's blowing me back up the mountain. I wish I had some warning when it was gonna get flat. Down there is the Tremblant village and Lake Tremblant. I guess it's a year round. This is a resort town year round. All right, well, let's go down and maybe we can find Kale. Because I've got to go fast to get over it. Okay. So go left. I think it'll be a little faster going out my next time. Too. Okay. All right, this is the north side of the mountain. We've got to go back up to get to the other side. They have two sides, so I read today they have 14, uh, 14 lifts and 100 and some trails. So I'm gonna to try to map as much of this mountain as I can. All right, it's getting a little uh, late in the day and the temperature is dropping, but the, the view has only gotten better. Look at that Trombaugh village right there. All right, so I've been skiing for like six hours now um, and I wanna start go, I wanna go start vlogging in the city. So I think that's gonna end all the snowboarding part of today but let's go check out the actual village now. Okay, so we finished skiing for the day. Um, I'm at my hotel, the West Inn, and we're gonna head off because I wanna show some of the village and do a little walking tour. They have a gondola in the village, so I think that's the first thing we're gonna head for. There's the West Inn right there. It's a great hotel, really close to the mountain. This is kind of the main square here that kind of connects the town to the slopes and to the different streets. All right, we're almost at the gondola. Once we get to the gondola, we'll have a better idea of like where we want to go and how big it is, to be honest. So I'm, I'm basing all this off memory. 
from my childhood when I came here once. <laughs> I mean, the main gondola, that was taking you right up to the very top of the mountain. It's about 10 minutes to get up there. But then a good half an hour getting down the mountain, long runs. Although, I wasn't really timing myself on these runs. <laughs> Oh, how sick would that be if the mascot comes with us? Should have been in the gondola with the mascot, but these guys took like five hours to get a selfie with them. All right, from my memory, we're gonna be able to see like pools and stuff from up here. Let's check it out. There's not too much down here. It actually brings you away from most of the the stores and and the action. It's just uh, a lot of people have hotels down here. So let's head back up. Okay, now let's go like explore the little alleys in the town. I've got to see how big this village is. So let's go check it out. Oh, okay, so there's a lot of businesses here like uh, renting chalets and I guess it's like an office. So a ski in, ski out, where you rent a, a house on the hill and you ski off the hill and then you ski back into the house. Literally a ski in, ski out. Okay, so like I can see there's a nightlife here uh, because like this walking street is all just restaurants that become bars. <clears throat> all right, and then I guess we've just walked down to the bottom of where the gondola is. Uh, so. I think this is a good time to end this video. This is unfortunately gonna be my last video in Canada for the next little while because next week we're gonna be filming in Thailand. So I hope you stick along.